Hello, I am Carson Palmer, quarterback of the Arizona Cardinals. Thank you for inviting me to be part of this panel. I'm here today because I am a tissue recipient. On January 8, 2006, I was the quarterback for the Cincinnati Bengals and we were playing against the Steelers. I threw a 66-yard pass to Chris Henry, the longest completed pass in Bengals history. And right after I released the ball, I was hit from behind. I heard a pop and I knew what that meant, an ACL tear. My doctor told me that this injury was devastating and potentially career-ending. I had just turned 27 years old and it was scary to think about how much of my life was depending on a few millimeters of ligament. When my doctor told me I would be getting a donor ACL, I felt grateful but also curious. It felt like receiving a pass from an invisible stranger. After surgery, I had my wife drive me to the DMV so I could register to be an organ, eye, and tissue donor. A few months later, a reporter from Bloomberg News asked me if I would be interested in connecting with the donor's family. I said yes, and that's when I learned that the donor was a woman from Texas named Julie DeRossi. Julie's tissue became an integral part of my knee. Julie never played a game of football in her life, but after she died, her tissue helped me play 98 games of professional football for three different NFL teams. Her tissue also helped me run after my twins who were born a few years after the surgery. Unfortunately, the tissue gave out during a game against St. Louis in November 2014. I felt the pop again, and this time I knew all too well what tearing an ACL means. It changes everything, and of course I cried like a baby. But Julie and I had eight great years together, and my connection with her will last much longer than the ACL did. I'd like to mention Chris Henry, the wide receiver who caught the record-setting pass. He was a good friend of mine, and he died in 2009. He became an organ and tissue donor, like Julie, and I wonder who his recipients might be. In closing, I'd like to say thank you to Julie's sister Karen and her entire family. You made a decision in the midst of a crisis that changed my life and the lives of many others. Thank you to Dave Fleming of ESPN for telling this story in such a thoughtful way. And thank you to the members of the American Association of Tissue Banks for the work that you do every single day that ends up helping people like me.